Hello viewers, my name is Oribosu Toyo Wisdom from Nigeria. I'm having this as my first video to teach music and element of music, also families of musical instruments. Enjoy. Today is 27th January 2021. I have got the inspiration to teach the topic music from the basic presentation, teach elements of music and also families of musical instruments. Those are the three aspects we shall be covering in this video section. Music can be defined as the arrangement of sounds and silence to create food. I got the definition inspired in the year 2020 around June. Things that come to mind in defining music from my own definition, number one, arrangement. Number two, sound. Number three, silence. And number four, mood. My definition entails music as the arrangement of sounds and silence to create mood. Arrangement means orderliness. Music should be arranged in an orderly manner. It comprises of sounds. Sound can also be defined as something that is audible to the ears. And also silence, that is a situation where there is no sound. And the effect is to create mood. For example, when a music called Lulabi is a song, you present a song for a baby and the baby sleeps. And also in some ceremonial uh, celebration like birthday, funeral, which is common in Africa settings, when the musician, when the performer does the music, people are motivated to spend money. So it is music that created the mood of, to enable someone to spend money. Music too can be ministered by the choir in the church and you see everyone sober, crying, trying to repent of their sin. Music will always be defined by me as an arrangement of sounds, silences to create mood. Because the effect of music will be found in the mood it generates. And this also leads into the concept of jokes, which we call styles in music, the reggae, the hip hop, the groove, R&B, everything is because of the mood it creates. To go for next, I will be talking on sound. Sound is an energy. Sound is vibrations of matters. Matters are anything that has weight or occupies space. We have the air, the solid, the liquid, the gas, the source, the aerosols, etc. That is for the science categorization of matter. Also, for elementary, sound is something audible to the ears. An example of sounds, or the two forms or categories of sound, are one, the natural sound, which comes from nature. Example includes thunder running streams and lights. Natural sound comes from nature. Artificial sounds, which is the second one, is man-made sounds. Man-made is not coming from nature. It is coming from the activity of man. All musical instruments made by man are categorized under artificial sound. Example, horns, the machines, the vehicle, they are all categorized under artificial sounds. Next, elements of music. 
from the definition of music, understanding it as the arrangement of sounds and silence to create mood. What are the elements? How do we know that this is music? One, the first element is pitch. Pitch is how high or low a musical note is. How high or low a note sounds. How high or low a musical note sounds. It could be high, it could be low. And from the scientific point of view, we can see pitch too from the frequency, which is the number of oscillations, number of vibrations with respect to time. I need to demonstrate frequency with respect to pitch with this illustration. If you have this kind of turning, which we call this one complete oscillation in physics, this is one. We have another one starting again two, three, and the Oscillation can continue further. For those who are into sound engineering, they see our pitch, they understand pitch more from this, from frequency. And that is why in design of musical instruments, the knowledge of pitch and frequency are hand-shaped. For you to design a guitar B string, you need to calculate the frequency. For you to design a keyboard, you need to check the frequency for the keys because they, for pitch, they are standards. And the standards of pitch are, are related to the musical keys. So the key A on a bass guitar and A on keyboard, they should produce the same frequency. And concerning pitch too, with respect to the musical keys or notes, we have the A0, we have the A1, A2, A3, because of the octaves. Pitch is all about how high or how low a musical note sounds. For example, for the human voice, the soprano are the high pitch, they sing high pitch. Why for the bass voice, they have low pitch. The tuba produce a low sound. Why the recorder, we produce a higher sound. And all these can be explained through frequency, which is the number of vibrations relating to time. In terms of number two, we can relate pitch with the do re mi fa sol la ti do. So far, uh, uh, for the practicals on tonic so far, if you have notes like this, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do. This do that is marked up is of a higher pitch. The pitch reduces, that is why it's called T. The pitch reduces to la, to so, to fa. And all these can be quantized. Quantization means relating things to number. Relating things to number. All the music keys on the keyboard have their own frequency in hertz, in kilohertz, it depends on the octave. Pitch is a very important element of music which cannot be turned away. Next, reading. Reading 
is can be explained or best understood with the knowledge of this word called patterns. Reading is all about the regular or irregular patterns of what? Horses, strong beats, weak beats. For example, we are from Nigeria. We have a cloth called Ankara, and they are designed to patterns. So let's just use this pattern we see in mathematics. This is regular here. Regular. Regular. But when we go further, combining all together, it is regular, irregular. Reading is all about what patterns. For those who are going to sight read excellently on staff notation, either the Gregorian chants or any kind of notation, it's what they see first is reading, not the keys that are seen. They see the words, they see the reading. And for those who will be playing percussion instruments, they play according to reading. The reggae beat has its own reading. The classic has its own reading. So music too, the, the important elements too in music is reading. All the elements of music are very important. Pitch, if there's no pitch, there's no music. If there's no reading, there is no music. Reading is a regular pattern or irregular pattern of horses, strong beats, and weak beats. In staff notation, when you see semiquavers coming together, you know that it's a pattern. Whether it's moved from sem whether six semiquaver to a whole note, another six semiquaver to a whole note, six semiquaver to another whole note, you see that the song will be flowing in a pattern. For example, this song, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what I flow. Can you see that the song has a pattern of coming with half notes at the beginning of each line? That is reading. So that is about reading. It's a pattern. It can be found in notations and also in percussion. For example, common morning devotion in Nigeria. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Oh, tell us. Clap. Two, two. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. So there is a regular pattern of the clap. The understanding of reading is peculiar to the understanding of elements of music. Next, duration. Duration is the length of a musical note. You can ask yourself, how long does a musical note last? When you ask that question, you are talking about duration. For example, if you just check a full piece, a music piece, on your phone, it will be written whether this music uh, how excellent is your name? You check your media player, it will show whether 3 minutes, 15 seconds. That's the duration of that piece. But duration per se is the length of a musical note. Whether you call it a whole note, a half note, or the British call it the brief, the semi brief, the crochet, the quaver, the semi quaver, hemi demi semi quaver. The duration is all about how long a musical note lasts or how long a musical sound lasts that is about the duration and when we are talking about duration the reference point for duration and tempo is beat per minute because we will be finding them more using this word BPM which means beat per minute Number four, structure.
Structure is the way in which an overall music piece is arranged. I will need to explain the structural elements for me to understand structure. The structural elements are more than these, but I will be taking just this few. One, introduction, which is popularly called intro. Something begins a music piece, whether for common song, do you care? There's a part before the vocals where the keyboards and the guitar comes in. And that is what we call introduction. We have what we call the verse, which are the lines of the songs too. Verses are commonly found in some songs, hymns, R&B, and some other likes. Because in instrumental music now, you will be asking which one is the best. But for vocal music, where we have the verses, for example, Stand Up For Jesus is a song that is comprising of verses. There is no chorus. For example, a song like Trust and Obey, it contains the chorus and the verses. While we have another part which we call the prelude, we also have the refrain. The refrain is more like the response to a call in a music. The response to a call in a music. And the uh, easier one for Nigerians to understand is from the common song, Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And on earth peace to men of good will. Hallelujah. The refrain is the response which we are hearing, which is the Hallelujah. The song continues. We praise you. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah is the response. There are other songs too. They have refrains. But from this basic uh, illustration of the glory be to God in the highest song, we understand refrain as a response to a call in music. Also, we have what we call the bridge. The bridge is a place in music where there is a, a change in the progression, and we call that bridge. We have the interlude, we have the outro. Now, structure is which way does these songs, these things comes in. For example, some songs they start with the introduction, from the introduction to the chorus, before the verse, and after the verse again they have the bridge. Why some songs they only have introduction, verses, and outro, and that is about structure. The faster you understand the structure of a music, that is the faster you understand the music itself. In teaching, in singing, in playing, when the structure of the music is understood, it is easier to be performed. Next, number five, dynamics. Dynamics is how loud or soft the music is. Soft too can be used as quiet here. Loudness, softness, they can also be called intensity in music. If a song is very, very loud or very, very soft, it is related to what we call dynamics. For example, Hallelujah Chorus, they have the part where the chorus that comes in, everything is loud and at some point, Everything goes soft, and that is what we call dynamics in music. Next, pulse. The pulse is the beat of a music. Percussionists understand pulse faster than other. Reason is that for someone who plays the bass drum, he counts the pulse. For someone who plays the pulse, counts the, the pulse of the music, which is the beat. Someone who plays the clef easily listens to the pulse to generate the rhythm for the clef. And pulse you can also be easily seen in written piece as the bar lines.
The practical approach to pulse makes music uh, better understood for reading's sake. If the understanding of pulse is not rooted, the understanding of reading will be shallow because the two, the flow, are pursued. For example, uh, taking the song of trust and obey. The pause is landing on the first beat. It's a 3 4 timing. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So I'm clicking my fingers at the pause of the music. 2, 3. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word. That is the pause. The pause is the beat of the music. Okay. Next, element number seven. Texture. Texture is the way which melody rhythm and harmony are combined in a music piece. Texture can also be understood from intensity because uh, for some songs you could have whether six instruments to be used in the song. Where two instruments are performing, where four instruments are performing, where the six are coming in together, or where one is just only doing the music. That is where you can get from texture. It's just about the way the melody, the rhythm, and the harmony are combined. And that's about texture. So the texture sometimes could be robust. From the reading, it could like change the tempo and you have everything so loud, so low. The texture is just the general way of for the, as the overhauling of a music piece in which the melody, the reading, and the harmony, the way they are combined. So, for example, in a song which uh, the song starts with the soprano and bass, you will have a different texture compared to where it is the soprano, the alto, the tenor, and the bass, the four parts coming together. You will have different texture. Element number eight, tempo. Tempo is all about the speed of the music. And speed can be categorized into being fast or slow. Allegro, fast. Adagio, slow. There are Italian terms and terminologies to categorize tempo. And please, we should not forget this word, beat per minute. Beat per minute. which we popularly call BPA. So, when you want to do some songs in the studio, the first thing the studio engineer comes in contact to with is BPA. You need to check the tempo of the song so that you don't run more than the speed and everything will be regulated. Tempo is an important element of music. Number nine, timbre which is also known as tone color. This is the characteristic sound of a musical instrument. Each and every musical instrument has a distinctive tone color. They are distinguished. They are unique. In the family of guitar, the 12 string guitar and the bass guitar, they don't produce the same uh, based on tone color. They are of different sound even if you are using them to play the same song and you can hear the song doom, 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 doom. and on the piano too they can say pam, 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 pam. even if it is the same key the same notes but the difference is the, the timbre the tone color the tone color of a recorder When we walk with the Lord, the human voice is different from the recorder. And that is what we call the tone color. And that is also called 
timbre, the characteristic or distinguishing sound of a musical instrument. Next, element number 10, tonality. Tonality is the key in which a music piece is written. And I won't discuss tonality without mentioning the music keys. The music keys are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Which will also have the accidentals, the sharp, the flat, and all the, the sharp, the flat, the minor, etc. But this is the basics. This video is for beginners. Tonality is the key in which a music piece is written. No music will be off all these keys. It will be related to a key. If the music does not have a key, it cannot be called music because of the top of the element called tonality. Element number 11, harmony. Harmony is all about love. It's all about agreement. The relationship between two or more sounding notes. A vocals singing, a vocalist singing, a drummer playing drum. If there is no agreement between the two of them, then it is not music. Because there must be agreement between the drummer and the vocalist the keyboardist or the pianist and the violinist because two or more sounds coming together should be in accord, should, there should be agreement which is the element called harmony. Element number 12, parts. Parts is the different ranges of the voice, whether the human singing voice or the characteristic voice of musical instruments. For example, for the human singing voice, we know and we've heard about soprano, alto, tenor, bass, countertenor, basophondo, contralto, mezzo-soprano, etc. These are different ranges of the human singing voice. Part two for the musical instrument, for example, the saxophone. We have the soprano sax, we have the alto sax, we have the tenor sax. And for the guitars too, we have the lead, we have the solo, we have the jazz, we have the tenor, we have the bass guitar. All these instruments, they have their ranges. And the ranges too is, can also be related to the pitch. The E string of a bass guitar and the E string of an acoustic guitar actually they produce the same key, E, but the ranges of the pitch differs. The pitch differs. The octaves differs. And that is about parts. Next, let's discuss families of musical instruments. All instruments in the world can be streamlined into families. They don't exist in isolation. And that is why it is easier to learn instruments based on families. I've been hearing some people, they want to learn, uh, when they want to register at a music school, they say, I want to learn this, I want to learn that, I want to learn that. No. Sometimes it is easier picking one member of a family. For someone who learns the guitar, it will be easier to play the violin because the person has been relating with strings instrument. Now let's come quickly to the families of musical instruments. Number one, strings. They have strings. The strings could be steel, it could be made of any synthetic material. We have guitar, we have banjo, we have cello, we have the harp, we have the violin, we have the mandolin. Instruments like goje, the ukulele, the charango, they are families of the string musical instrument because they possess of oh, the string. Next, woodwind. Woodwind belongs to the family of aerophones. Reason is that the sound comes from air. You need to blow in air to the vibrations of air in 
the instrument. And uh, for woodwind examples include flute, recorder, whistle. Some we just find it funny that it's whistle in this kind of instrument. Yes, whistle produces sound, and music is relating to or, uh, arrangement of sounds and silence to create music. Anything that produces sound becomes a musical instrument. Number three, we have to read. No read, no saxophone. No read, no clarinet. No read, no read pipes. Read instruments, are, they also belong to aerophones. Vibration of air in the, in the musical instruments. Now, for example, the saxophone needs a reed to be put as a position at the mouthpiece for it to produce a sound. So one thing peculiar about reed instruments is that they possess reeds. Number four, brass. The brass instruments are made up of the metal called brass. Example includes trumpet, trombone, tuba, etc. While number five, we have voice. The sea has its voice. The ocean has its voice. The human has the voice. Animals too have voices. Let us understand that music is arrangement of sound. Anything that produces sounds belongs to the families of musical instruments. So it is when they are arranged, when I in using the other elements of music, that is when it becomes a music piece. So for the voice, the seashore, the ocean waves, the human and the animals, e.g. bears, ants, crickets, chickens, they are all voice. Next, which is number six, the keyboard. The keyboards contain the seven white keys and five black keys. That is the way to identify keyboard in a simple way. It should possess a seven white and five blacks. Examples include piano. And also in the piano, we still have a friend. It can still be subdivided into the grand piano, the electric piano, which is the electronic piano, uh, the one grand piano, and the other categories of piano. Also for organ, it can also still be subdivided into the church organ, the chapel organ, the pipe organ, the reed organ, we have this. and also workstations. Workstations are commonly used in the studio where there is production of beats, uh, sequences of beats, and hooking it with some different audio and carrying the audio interfaces. And that's why we call them workstations. We use them to produce beats and other things. We have photos from Yamaha, from Korg, the Motif, and others. We also have what we call synthesizers. Synthesizers, they also have the white and black keys. Why they call synthesizers is because they produce artificial sounds. The artificial sounds of a particular instrument. For example, this is an example of a synthesizer. This is an example of a synthesizer. What this does is it cannot produce the sound of the original. It will never produce the sound of the original. For example, and that is why you have pump band on it. When you press this, if it is programmed for whether zero one, which is the sound of a piano, so that is what you get. If it is programmed to the sound of a flute, you will hear something similar to flutes. Even if it is programmed to the sound of drum, you hear the sound of percussions, of percussion instrument on it. And that is why we call this a synthesizer. Most uh, students or the layman approach, anything they see like this, black and white, they always say piano. This is not a piano. This is a synthesizer. So for images of keyboards, instruments like the piano, the organ, the workstation and synthesizers, you can check Google. And you can Google that and see for yourself. And the easier way to recognize synthesizers more is they don't produce the original sound. If you are with a trumpet, tune your synthesizer to the sound of a trumpet, press it, 
and get a live trumpet. Flee, you will, from uh, Timbre, you will understand that they are two different tone colors. They are not the same. They are not the same. For example, the sound of a recorder. Now, try the sound of a recorder on the synthesizer. You will get something similar, but they are not exact. And that is why it is called synthesizer. Now to explain the keyboard, because tonight it makes us understand music keys. So we can easily understand the keyboard first. Music is all about pitch, sound here to this ending. And now we are subdividing. Dividing just as if you are measuring from year to year, one centimeter, from year to year, one centimeter, from year to year, one centimeter. Now, using the music keys nomenclature, that is why they got this that this section A, section B, section C, section D, section E, section F, section G, and repeating in octave section A, and that is how it goes on in the keyboard. And and that is why the keyboard are uh, if you are to truncate this section to get another B over there. Let me draw in the order of C for easier arrangements. In the order of C it's easier. So that we use the word the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now, this is a keyboard. Let's start the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And if all this place where we put the tones are shaded into black, and that is why you will now see that the keyboard contains the seven white and the five black keys. This is just a beginner approach to the keyboard. We have the seven white one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the five black keys one, two, three, four. For questions on music the definition, the elements of music and families of musical instruments, you can use the question and answer section in the on the YouTube page or on the, any of the uh, social angles that you find this video. Thank you and God.